Good day, and today we will cover how to swap out an image in the exact proportions it was originally on the page. A good example of that is a list of team members, as like this one, when you have this kind of square format, and if you upload a portrait photo or a landscape photo that is wider or taller, it could appear a lot different than the rest of the photos on the screen. So the way to get around that is uh, basically taking the image putting it into something like Photoshop. I found an excellent free replacement that anyone can use on any computer. And then you just kind of crop it down and then upload the replacement here in Divi. So I just did one and I will do it again to cover. So um, I just added this person here and the uh, photo, I, I just grabbed any one of these photos. I think I grabbed this one here. And if you right click and go copy image, that is one method to do it. Uh, I'll cover a couple other methods in just a second, but the tool that I like to use is called Photopia. There we are. And essentially it's like an online version of an older version of Photoshop. Uh, it's free, it's awesome, it works really well. And so if you just click in here and control uh, V on Windows, command V on a Mac, you can paste the image you just copied there. And then if I go back over here, uh, a way to find the original image, different ways to copy it, you can enable the Visual Builder. Scroll down to get to that image that you want to copy and that you need as a sort of a reference template. And then instead of clicking on the image, you would click on this little three dot and you can hit copy image right like that. And then paste it in. So we have like three copies of it now, which is fine. Uh, anyhow, just different ways to get access to the image. You can also go through the uh, media gallery if you want to and find the image there. And then you could, um, let's see, this is one of the headshots. You go to the media gallery and go copy URL and then paste that URL into the browser and then copy that image. So there's three ways to get the image, but regardless, focusing on the one at hand, um, here's this image here. And the one that we were originally working with is this one. You can see it's a portrait image. And I believe it's a very high quality one too, which is why it took a second to load. So what we want to do is we will drag it to the corner here and probably drag it up a bit. And then you can kind of pan around. Hold shift to keep the aspect. If you don't, it'll do this, which you don't want. So hold shift, keep the ratio correct, and then just drag it up until it either just meets or goes over. And then you can just slide it up and we'll zoom in a little bit here. In this case, we want to get it sort of still just a bit above her head like that and hit enter to put it in place. And then you can see if we zoom in, there's a little like one line of pixels uh, overhanging there, which can happen sometimes. So just hit control T again zoom out, hold shift, and just bring it out just a tad more. And there we are. Now we are edge to edge seamless. So we can go file, export as JPEG. And in this case, you could um, let this do some compressing for you, which is handy. Um, I'm going to do 100% compression uh, just because it's kind of a smaller image, but also um, I use a tool called Image Optim, which optimizes JPEGs just because we don't want to have um, very large images on a page because that will slow down a page. You can also just search for online tools. Just search, um, just search compress JPEG and you'll find online tools if you want to be mindful of page load times. But anyhow, when we want to swap in the image here, all we would do is we would scroll down to the intended square. In this case, it was Terry's. Um, and if we were adding someone, just as a side note, which might be a good exercise, if we were adding someone to this list, we would just copy an existing square. It already has all the formatting. Move it into an empty section. And then we would duplicate their title, bring it over, and the donate button if it applied. And then we just click into the settings for that person. Click on the image. Then you can just drag it over, place it there. You can see that it uploads, and then you can just hit upload image. In this case, we just uploaded it twice, so I'm gonna delete to save space on the server. But that is the image that we had already uploaded. Click upload, hit the check mark, 
and now it will work just as the rest of them do. And if we were at the edge of a row and we needed to add more people, just another Divi tip here. This particular row, I remember it has some special um, formatting on it with the um, the padding. There's, I think there's no spacing above the row and some spacing below it. So if we just go in and create a new row, it might not match. Um, and so what we'd want to do instead is to click on this bottom row, duplicate it. And then if we, um, let's say there was another um, headshot here, so that top row was full. Then we would delete every other um, element that was copied down. Delete the names and the buttons. So that way all we have is this one extra one. And now in here, in this new person that's been added, you can hit the gear and swap in, um, say another image of another headshot there. And then edit the title. Hit the gear, edit the title and uh, then we are good to go. Then of course hit the three dot menu and save the work at the end and that is how you swap images uh, with the exact constraints that they're originally there and uh, make it look good. So I hope that helps and have an awesome day.